Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the live breakdown on a trade that I caught this morning on AMD. It was another short position. So this is going to be four days in a row that we've caught AMD to the short side. And I've got the video with the live trade that I'm going to show you. But first, before we dive into that, I just want to talk about the entry and kind of what I was watching this morning before I got short on AMD. So I've got the AMD 15 minute chart here and this is on Interactive Brokers which is my new platform. If you aren't sure what happened with my Thinkorswim, sort of my TD Ameritrade experience, I'll post that video here and you can check out what was going on and why I decided to, to switch things up over to IBKR Pro. I am paying for my trades now so I'm paying commissions and I'm also paying for my data. So I pay to get NASDAQ quotes, which was free with Thinkorswim, but I'm very happy that I've gotten rid of those because now things are working really smoothly. And I'll get into a little bit more about that here in just a bit. But I wanna show you what I was watching on AMD that allowed me to get short or the reason why or where I got short. This is the pre-market activity right here. So on IBKR, you can zoom way out and you can zoom way in. And this activity was sort of post-market from yesterday, pre-market activity. And if I zoom in a little bit here, um, you can see that if I hover this candle, that was the 915 candle. So this was the last candle of the pre-market. And I like to trade what I like to call a closing range breakout. So this range closed, this 15 minute candle closed. And as soon as it did, I was looking to get short below this low, about 10 cents below. So I have an order configured where I can really smoothly just click sell stop and place this order really fast. So right before the market opens, I place it just below this low and then I'm just looking to take it short. I use a 30 cent stop right now and I'm using a 75 cent take profit. So that's a 2.5 to one reward to risk ratio which means every time I win, I win two and a half units. Every time I lose, I lose one unit. So it kind of keeps me generating profits week after week and then month after month. So with this one, I actually got a little bit of slippage and I'm gonna show you the video, but I got short below here and my order was actually at 86.70 to get short and I allowed a 10 cent buffer. I had a sell stop order. So I was accepting any prices between 86.70 and 86.60. And I actually got filled at 86.60, as you can see right here. So let's roll this tape real quick. I'm gonna show you this video. So once I hit play, it's gonna immediately trigger because it was a really fast entry right out of the open. The open, the market opened one second in, it pushed down and it was immediately being triggered in. So I'll hit play on this. You're gonna see it surge down and then you can see right here, fill price of 86.60. So I'm already filled. 30 cent stop in place, and you can see my target is down here. If you watched yesterday's video and the day before, you know that I was kind of struggling with, with my stop loss and having it just be configured just right. I've got that fixed. I think we're all good. As you can see over here, there's no need to confirm anything. Everything is just in place. So. I feel really good about this right here. We're watching a lot of volume come in and I'm just looking for this to get short 75 cents below my entry. So it ebbs and flows a little bit. I've got a nice 30 cent stop. I went 800 shares today and then what I was doing over here and let me just stop that for a second. Back here where you saw me start messing around in here is once this price action goes 40 cents in my favor, I like to move my stop loss from where it currently is right up to break even. And the break even on this was 86.60. So you're gonna see me hovering this 86.60 and I'm just gonna change it really quickly once I see 40 cents in my profit or in my direction. I got that and then I pushed it forward. You can see I clicked confirm. And now it's basically a free trade other than I obviously have to pay the commission but if I get stopped out, it's just gonna be a stop out that's break even, which is okay with me. So we're watching volume build. We're seeing AMD push down into the low 86s, about to breach that $86 point, and I'm looking to get it down to 85.85, and that would give me my 2.5R for the day. 
So just watching this, you as you know, in the last few days, um, the first day back on this new platform, I risked a hundred dollars, and or I traded a hundred shares. The next day it was two hundred, then I went to five hundred, and then today I'm at eight hundred. So I'm about to get hit here, and there it is. So you can see that triangle, that blue triangle signifies that I bought to cover to close the trade out, and that was it. So it was a relatively quick trade. You can see 733.18. So it took a little over three minutes for this trade to play out. But if I flip back over to the live platform, you can see my trades here, but I wanna to go to this nice summary tab. When I click the summary tab, you can see I traded AMD. The buys and the sells were each 800. And you can see my average sold position was at 86.60. That's where I got short. And then I covered at 85, 85 flat. They were beautiful fills. Everything was very quick. I paid $9.63 in commission. The old me would have been, would have not liked that because I thought, oh, this is no good. I don't want to be paying for things. But I am so, so happy to pay commissions for lightning quick fills where where things aren't jumping my stop losses and causing all kinds of delays and problems like I was having with Thinkorswim. And again, watch that video that I posted earlier on the card because it kind of breaks down my nightmare with Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. So I'm very happy to be with IBKR Pro and I highly recommend it. It's just super slick for day trading, especially if you're a scalper like I am. Here's my realized P&L. So about almost 600 bucks on the day. Wonderful day, very smooth price action, wasn't super whippy, but again, just getting short below that low. I've had a lot of questions in the comment section about why I'm only trading it to the short side and how do I know that I wanna trade it to the short side? And I'll do a quick recap on that. So in my metrics, which is in traderview.com, and if you want to sign up for a TraderView account, so that you can track all of your trades. You just upload your trades to that platform and it gives you all kinds of great data. There's a link in the description to TraderView and that helps support the channel. There's also a link in the YouTube banner. You can go there and also access through sort of my account so that I can get credit for that and the channel can get credit for that. But my TraderView metrics were showing that I was making about 82% of my revenue through short positions. My long positions were actually not contributing that much. And I have some thoughts around this as far as, you know, moves to the downside seem to be a little more violent and a little quicker and a little more extended. They get a little further extended than the long side plays. It seems like it's easy for it to drop hard out of the gate, even if it rebounds and has a nice green day. It's just the short side of things just tends to be a little more violent and a little quicker. So I think that's one area that's contributing to my success on the short side. So I'm just gonna stick with that for the month of February and just kind of see where that takes me. I should be up to full size trading with the new platform um, by possibly tomorrow and if not tomorrow, um, I might go back to full size, which is 1200 shares by Wednesday. And then I'll be back full size, you know, forever. I won't be altering anything anymore. I just scaled in because I was trying to get used to the platform and trying to understand how everything worked and, and just so I didn't screw anything up. So I think I'm looking pretty good now there. So I will be getting back to full size, but um, check out that video on Thinkorswim and why I switched over. It'll just give you a little more insight, but very smooth day, um, took it short. I'm gonna continue to stay short through February, see where that puts me at the end of the month. And then as always, I'm gonna be doing that monthly recap. So in December, you can go back in my videos and watch the December recap. January, we're probably not gonna do it. I can show it to you, but there just wasn't a lot going on in January because I was changing brokers and moving all the funds around. So this is gonna be a great month to kind of see how everything's going because same strategy, same commissions now, everything's gonna stay consistent, only short plays, just gonna let the month roll by. We're gonna see where we are. So we'll recap then uh, about all of that. But today's trade was really great. And you can see that after we got our 75 cent fill right here, we got our full 2.5 Rs, it then opened and went even lower. We got down here into the 84.70, even down here as low as like 84, let's see what the low is, 84.66. So really good move. And I, I like to see as far as how big I want my target to be, I really like to see more activity beyond my target because 
if I have a 2.5R target and price action is barely getting there and it's reversing and it's happening a lot, that starts to indicate to me that I might have a target that's a little, a little big. Like maybe I'm being a little too bold with it and I need to scale it back. But seeing 2.5Rs being in the middle of this move makes me feel comfortable that, yeah, I'm okay with 2.5Rs maintaining a 30 cent stop. And it's been really good so far, so we're just gonna stick with it. So I hope everybody had a green day. Drop down the comments below, let me know what you traded and if you traded long or short. And also ask me any questions if you have them as far as my strategy or about the interactive brokers platform because it's been really great so far. So anyway, hope everybody had a green day and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow.